Hi guys, today I am going to show you training and testing a YOLO V5 object detection model for a custom data set in Colab using PyTorch framework. So, before that, we need to download the YOLO file, the programming file. So, just you can JIT clone it from the website and you, and you can install all those library whichever is which one is required so just you can click it over here so now the model is cloning here and the library files are started to install then you can see the files are coming here so this is the model file and all the utilities whatever the may uh, sub programs everything is coming here inside the folder yolo v5 then here we are going to uh, train and test our custom model so we have the data so we are going to detect with the help of yolo v5 so before that we have to annotate it so this is the uh, what to say this is the website which or api we can use for annotate our custom data so just you can click over here uh, you have to sign in it mm, then uh, just I'll show you how to annotate the images for YOLO V5 detection so just you can create new project just to give anything PJT like data models just create one data file and you can just select the files i just i'll show you one thing just i'll select some of the ct images or detecting the tumor or something else so just i click over here then you can click it this one after you can go to right there are some tools is there you can go to right and bounding box just click over here and just move and drag it you can this is then you enter then you can move on to the next one likewise the same one next and like that now after that you can go to back already your files are annotated here or then finish uploading continue so now the files are uploading now we can get the train and test split already we annotated four images and automatically it's split into train and test then pre-processing if you want any pre-process you can give like uh, this whatever the pre-processing you want we can give like that auto orient we can apply it another pre-processing auto adjust grayscale or static crop everything whatever you want we can just apply it then you can go for continue now the augmentation any augmentation shall we do if you want to do we can do brightness increase apply something like uh, blur is there if you want me we can do the augmentation then we can continue then finally we can generate so generate means nothing but it's automatically generating those files and automatically split into training and test continue now the file sir is there and started to if you want download me started to download so if you want to get these images into the collab means you have to copy and you can you can paste it over here but in this case today what we are going to do means we are going to detect the uh, underwater objects so already i loaded the, the those images and uh, i just annotated 
gold fish coral mm, and the gold fish coral turtles mm, human tortoise so these are the objects gold fish these are the objects i already annotated already i loaded over here so this is the api key everything for loading those data so like this you can load you can create a new project and you can do load your own data and you can annotate it automatically the api key will be generated here and you can just copy and paste it over here so just i will run it here this one so this one for uh, underwater object detection model and uh, this one data so data is already here so already it's getting the data here so you can see it here you have vify data and images so Lovify data images wait okay now we we are going to set up the environments like just you can click over here content your wifi project 53 then what is this okay now all our data is coming there you be five project yolo 53 project yolo 53 and you can see that images get train image train images See, color fish these are the images already I trained over here so these are the some test images and one more images for the validation so you have to see the particular path content YOLO V5 project YOLO 5 YOLO V5 content YOLO V5 project YOLO 53 so there only we can get some we can see our train test and validation later now we are going to now we annotated everything we got the data now we are going to um, train our custom model so i'll close all the data here so just click over here you can give number of epoch you want and number of patch size image size data set location everything so just i click over here now the program is started to run and the training is started it's going to learn all the uh, features inside the bounding box actually it is written in the pytorch program only pt file hello v5 now started epoch is started to run and the Labels number of labels six class map everything is coming here in iteration one by one. Mm. Now it will take time, I think, anyway. So just I'm pausing the this one. Yeah, now the training has been completed. You can see this one the map for all human, coral, goldfish, everything. Uh, then, if you want to log the matrix values, you can run over this one. The tensor, oh, tensor board will launch, and all the matrix will be displayed here. Then if you want to test our data here is the testing is going on python detect.py the previous one was python train.py that is training is going here mm, the testing now i'm going to test the data so i'm going to load the weights and the best pytorch file source location test images so you want to test those images you can click over here then it will test the image so these are the test image so on it is stored in the run the detect experiment so runs detect 
experiment so here the output will be here we can see is detected the data so detecting the here you can see the goldfish goldfish human and coral and tortoise so all the objects are detected here so already it is stored here it is results are stored here so if you want any if you want to display it here we can copy and you can paste over here and you can see see the output here then if you download that uh, file uh, this one that is wait files you can download here so this is this is our outcome for detecting the underwater objects so it's super easy nothing is there just we can load our custom data and we can train over here and we can test over here once the training is completed we can test over here and all the metrics and performance will be coming here in the tensor board uh, in the form of graphs training validation graph everything is coming here so this is nothing but all the result will be sto stored here so that's all so if you want any detecting any custom objects or the or something like vehicle detection or any medical image purpose or any other uh, image processing detection anything you can just load the data and you can use this yolo v page so it's the best one i think better than previous versions so you can use it your own data and you can use it for any application thank you i hope you understand everything what i am telling here so if any doubt you can ask me you can whatsapp me you can mail me and you can clarify your doubts thank you thanks for watching